Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here. Today I'm so excited because I finally got the courage to come and sit in the forest again because I know you guys really enjoy when I record videos outside, you know, with nature, which is to be expected because it's so much more beautiful than the inside of my car, although I try to make it as beautiful as possible. Today I'm sitting here in the middle of a forest, which is a little tiny, you know, it's a residential area with a bunch of trees and I'm defying my fear of vlogging and, you know, just recording in public. There's a lot of people that usually walk around here, so if you look at the video and you see people walking, then you know why. But today I'm just going to be chilling, smoking a cigarette. I just had lunch, so today I'm going to be testing that theory, which is that smoking after a meal tastes that much better, which I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I also brought my portable ashtray. So I'm gonna be using that. You need to like be careful when you go and smoke outside, careful of where you ash your cigarettes, although ash is biodegradable supposedly. If you can keep it with you, keep it with you, you know, and also some place to leave your cigarette but at the end. So I have my little portable ashtray, which was a gift from my dad. It's very cute, look, I like it. And let's light this up and let's see if actually smoking after lunch is that much better or smoking after dinner, smoking after a meal. Let's go, let's light this up. My filter heat up, heated up a lot today, I don't know why, that was weird. It's back to normal now. So, today was a very big day for me. I need to tell you this, okay? I know this is going to be irrelevant, but for me today, marked something really important in my life. So let's start from the beginning. Basically, I'm a Portuguese girl living in Portugal. I own a car. I have one car to my name, which is a Nissan from 2003. And here in Portugal, the law is after your car is 10 years old, you need to go to inspection every year. An inspection, from what I've learned, is something that the whole of Europe has. So you go there and they check your car to see if the brakes are good, the suspension is good, if everything is like good to drive on the road, you know? So I've been to a total of... Oh my god, I just put my cigarette to my like microphone cable like right here and I thought I had burnt it. Holy, that would not be good. Um, anyway, so this year was my fourth year going to inspection, so we are coming to the fourth year of me owning my car. Now the first year, the first to the third year, basically my dad always did it for me. I was always very anxious, I couldn't sleep the night before, although I knew that I took really good care of my car and supposedly like it was perfectly fine to, you know, drive. Wait, let me see if I can make this a little bit better with the lighting now. All right, I hope this is better because now the sun is hitting me. Um, anyway, so basically, as I was saying, my dad always did it for me because although I took really good care of my car, I was always anxious that it was going to fail for some reason. So I couldn't really even bring myself to be the one to go to inspection. I would be sitting right next to him on my car, but he would be the one like driving it and doing all the things that the inspector wanted. But today, my dad said, you know, We've been doing this for years the same way. Today, you are going to be the one doing it. And I was really scared because he was gonna stay outside of the car and I was going to be the one driving it and hearing the inspector's orders on what I should do to him to inspect my car, you know? So he says things like, turn on the medium, medium lights, turn on the, like, the blinkers to see if everything is working. Basically, my car passed, obviously, because I really take good care of my car, you know? It's always in perfect condition. I really take good care of the things that I own. And I just felt super proud of myself, you know, because it was the first year where I did it by myself and it was just today. So I'm super excited, you know, that is all done. I don't need to do it for another year. And now I know that I'm capable to do it all myself, like by myself if I wanted to do, you know. Anyway, I know this isn't supposed to be the topic of this video, but still, it was something that I wanted to tell, you know, everyone because I just was proud of it. And you know when you achieve like a certain milestone and you want to share it with someone? Well, I just shared it with my dad. I had lunch with him, like a celebratory beach bar type of lunch. It was really nice. We usually go to the same beach bar all the time. So we went there and I had an acai bowl to which I called my celebratory acai bowl to, you know, celebrate my achievement. And now, because I don't really am hanging out with anyone but you guys, I, feel, I felt like I needed to share with you. So, but you know what? I've heard a lot of people say that smoking cigarettes after a meal, it's kind of like a dessert. 
you kind of wait for it. It's, always, it's like that feeling that there's always space in your stomach for a dessert, you know? I'm not very much of a dessert person, but I'm really enjoying this cigarette after my lunch. Just feels like it wraps everything up in a little ball of smoke, I guess. And it's tasting really nice, to be honest. I'm enjoying it. And another achievement, you know, I'm recording outside. There was just a, a guy my age that passed by me and I didn't stop talking as I used to do, you know, when someone like passed by me when I was recording, I would just be like tracking them with my eyes and not speaking at all, you know? Today I did not do that. So today is a very big day for Connie. My God, I'm proud of myself. And I'm really glad that my dad, first of all, he didn't tell me before that I was going to be the one doing it because he knew that if he told me like the days prior, I would be anxious about it. So we, re we literally got to the inspection center and he was like, all right, you're going to do it today. So I had no time to be anxious about it, you know, which was a very smart decision on his side. He knows me very well. He knows that he cannot tell me these things beforehand because I will have all of the time of the world to be anxious about it and I will use it to be anxious about it, you know. So I think it was very nice and considerate of him to like only tell me right then and there where I couldn't even say no because the inspector was already telling me to like move my car to enter the inspection, you know. So I really had no choice. I had to do it. And it was fine. It was easy. It was nice. And he was like, you know, your car is perfect. You can go. Bye. See you next year. It costs like 35 euros, which is a little unfortunate, you know, but I understand, I guess. I don't really, because I already pay for the insurance of my car and for something that is called selo, like o selo do carro, and say, I don't know how to say that in English, you know? But anyway, you know, it's only three payments that I have to do per year for my car, which is the insurance, the selo thing, which I don't know how to say in English, and this inspection. So it's not that much, you know, and of course the fuel, but that's on me. I just really wanted to like tell you guys about it. I know that I went really off topic with this video. I don't even know what I'm going to name it. Maybe it's just going to be a smoke session in the forest. You know, we love those. We love those. Like just me sitting here with the trees. There's a bunch of glass like below me. Let me try to show you without cutting myself. I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I don't think I can because but there's a bunch of glass. I'm going to take a clip and then I'll, I'll put it here. But either way, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Ha. I bet you thought that was the last you were going to see of me for today's video, right? Probably not, because you see that the bar below has a little bit more minutes than the time that I said goodbye. Actually, what's going to happen today is that I'm going to be smoking another cigarette, okay? Because today is a celebratory day. There's a lot of things that we need to celebrate, but because this is my second cigarette of the day, which is kind of a rarity for me, I don't really smoke two cigarettes in a day that often. Although, you know, for the past times, for the past months, I think I've been smoking two cigarettes a day more often than I did before but still it's not the average so to celebrate today I'm going to be smoking another cigarette I'm going to be smoking one of these elixir uh, cigarettes that you're supposed to put a menthol filter in it but you know what I'm not a baby I don't need menthol filters to smoke a cigarette I like the taste of cigarettes um, I hope you understand that I'm being you know ironic and just making fun of people that say I like the taste of cigarettes it's like the people that say I like the taste of real coffee I don't need sugar like Okay, why are you flexing that? And why is that a flex? You know, I don't understand. I like my coffee with tons of milk and a little bit of sugar. And that doesn't make me any less of a coffee enjoyer than you that enjoy your coffee plain. Okay, it just makes you boring. I'm kidding. I'm being uh, way too mean right now. I'm j I just want to smoke another cigarette. And I was like, I'm going to bring you guys along because I just put all of my leaves back up. Some lights in the back that I will not turn on right now because, uh, you know, it's useless because there's still daylight. Let's light this up and let's enjoy. It's a little bit windy right now. I think it's because I have both of my windows open. So there's like kind of an air current going on inside my car. Anyway, you know what? Today was such a great day. First of all, it's been like four hours since the last time I recorded. So it's still the same day. I switched my, uh, my sweater because I was not feeling the green anymore. I took out my hair clip because I was not feeling the hair clip anymore. And I just decided to come to this place, which is a place that I adore. It's a little forest, what I like to call it. Although my mom us usually roasts me for it because she's like, that's not a forest. That's like, that's, that's just trees in a residential area. Like when I say I'm, I'm at a park, she's like, that's not a park, whatever. She's making fun of me for it. It's like a joke, inside joke in between the both of us. But you know, when you have like three or more wolves and you call it a pack, 
So I do it with trees. If I see, you know, three or more trees, I call it a forest. And can you see how many trees I have behind me? Probably not, but I can count way more than 10. So it's a forest for me. But today was such a good day, you know. Today was a day of achievements, of conquering fears. I conquered my fear of going to inspection alone. I conquered my fear of recording outside, which may seem a little lame because right now I'm inside my car again. But it's because I had all the work to put my leaves back up and everything. So I wanted to show you guys the inside of my car. I hope you're not mad about it, you know. Today also I got a new phone case. Not a new, I just didn't have one and I was very scared I was gonna drop my phone. So for a little of context, I own a Xiaomi Poco F4 GT, which yes, it's a mouthful. It's kind of a rare model of Xiaomi, at least I don't know anyone else that owns it. And I don't know why, because it's pretty cheap and it has a nice camera. It was like 270 euros when I bought it, which is a very fair price for a phone with this camera, which is honestly the reason why I bought it, because I record my videos with my phone. So because it is a rare model, it was pretty hard for me to find a case for it because no one sells cases for this phone. So today I found this one and I got it and it was nine euros and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Look, it's like a lilac pastel purple type of color and I really enjoy it. I'm not using it right now because if I use it and I try to plug my mic into the phone, it will not work, you know, because this is way too, too thick. So I need to not have it on when I'm recording a video, but that's fine. But today I was just like, you know, celebratory day, what a great day, had lunch with my dad, went to inspection alone, recorded a video outside, got a new phone case. I mean, this might as well just be my, the best day of my life, you know? So to celebrate it, we are smoking another cigarette. Now I'm being very conscious about it and I'm smoking a light cigarette. That, to be honest, is still giving me a pretty nice amount of buzz. Also today, I am very happy, as you can probably understand because of all the events that occurred. So maybe I'm talking a little bit faster, a little bit more, a little bit louder than I usually do. But one thing to know about me is that I sometimes try to make a conscious effort to speak slower. Because if I'm like recording videos for both of us to chill here, I cannot be talking like Eminem type of speed, you know, I need to like try to be more chill with it. The thing is I have a very hard time because my thoughts are so fast and I want to communicate all of them that I start st trying to speak fast so that it goes at the same velocity that my brain goes, you know. So today I'm not going to try to contain myself if I'm having a good time talking fast and I will talk fast and I know all of you guys can keep up with me, you know. It's not even that fast, I'm just being dramatic. It's probably like a little bit above average speed. All I know is that today was one of the greatest days ever just because of all of the nice things that I did, you know, all of the nice achievements that I achieved and just being here, you know, smoking my cigarette, talking to you guys, enjoying the view of the forest behind and in front of me, which I know you can see, but you are enjoying the view of me. So that was so lame. Wasn't that so lame? I don't know. I also put some lights in the back, as I said, I think, but I'm not gonna, you know, turn them on because it's daylight still, so you can't see them if I do turn them on. But I think I'm just gonna chill here, you know, for a little bit, enjoy my cigarette, maybe take a sip of water, which I have in my trunk. I should have it right beside me, but I don't because honestly, I don't know, I just put, I don't even know what my thought process is. I just pick up my water bottle and I put it in my trunk instead of right next to me. As if every time I'm thirsty while I'm driving, I'm gonna like just stop at the side of the road to go to my trunk and pick up my water. It, just, it doesn't make much sense, you know. But I think that's an accurate description of my actions. Some of the time they just don't make that much sense. Which is kind of annoying, you know. Why is my water in the trunk? I don't understand. Anyway, it is what it is. I do have the filters for these cigarettes, which I bought and I made a video about them. I just... I don't know, you know, they are mental filters that you maybe stick inside of this little hole in the filter of the cigarette, but truthfully, I kind of enjoy it more without the filter, not trying to be, you know, edgy or whatever, it's just the filter doesn't really do much for the cigarette apart from making the drag a little bit harder, so the drag in this cigarette is pretty soft, it's pretty light, you know, so just to have a little hint of menthol for a cigarette that dip, makes the, the drag harder, I don't think it's worth. But I do have them. 
and I'll probably use them, you know, eventually in the future, just not today. I felt like having this cigarette just plain and simple. And you know what? I'm enjoying it a lot. I just wanted to record my little uh, second cigarette of the day because truthfully, I thought that the, the first portion of this video was just a little bit small. You know, I was watching the footage back and I think I had some strawberry seeds on my th teeth. So if you were able to see that, I'm very sorry. But right after lunch, I just came here to tell you guys all about my day. So I didn't have the time to brush my teeth before. Maybe I should have, but I just didn't. It is what it is. You know, we're, we're family here. Who cares if I have some strawberry seeds in my teeth? I wouldn't care if you had that either. If we were talking face to face, maybe I would tell you now you have some strawberry seeds in your teeth, like, you know, just so you don't walk around talking to other people with strawberry seeds in your teeth. But because you cannot tell me that through the video, unfortunately, in real time, I didn't know until I watched the footage back. Anyway, you know what? I definitely had a very good time having these two smoke sessions with you guys today. I had one of the best days of my life today and I'm very proud and content with it and I hope you enjoyed as well and I'll definitely be back very soon with another video for you guys. So yeah, bye!